This is like the ultimate finger painting. Right. <laughs> and what's, what we recently added is this idea of gestures, right? So now we can detect circles. We've always been able to detect it, but now we're returning this information back to the developer. So taps, that's what those little droplets are. Um, swipes, up, down, left, right, really all directions. Um, what's interesting about this is now you can start this idea of a disappearing interface, uh, which David and Michael talked about. Yep. So let's say, for example, I have a musical application, and I want to turn up the volume. I could draw a circle, let's say the knob appears, then rotate it, and then when I'm done with it, I just swipe it away and it's off the screen. Now you've got this full screen, you're back in this full screen. This idea of calling what you want when you want it. And it is, uh, it's like you have to develop a new type of sign language in order to, well, or shortcuts maybe. What or, we like to do, we like to think of it as, it sh you should do it in the same way sure. that, you should do it the same way that you would in the real world. Like for example, if I want to grab this chopstick, I reach over here and I pick it up. Yeah. You know, that's what we want to do on the screen. So if I see that chopstick there, I should be able to go in there, you know, just grab it, pick it up, and then now I've selected it on the screen. Uh, that's what we want to get to, so it just feels natural. Mm -hmm. So not really about um, sign language, but just making it as real world as possible. Right. And what I'm going to do here is start to mold it. Tool detection is another great feature of the Lead Motion Controller. So I can press it in pretty easily here. I'm going to change my brush. So now we just need to export this file to a 3D exactly. printer, <laughs> and we will be in business. I love 3D printing, and I think um, you know when you pair sort of this 3D input of what Leap Motion does with it, you can really get super creative. You know, this idea of 3D input with the Leap Motion, and then 3D output with the 3D printer is, is pretty powerful. Yeah. Um, you know, that was made pretty quickly. You know, under what, like 30 seconds, one yeah. minute, uh, something like that. You know, with my skill set probably would have taken a lot longer on like a professional program using, you know, other devices. And do you, I mean, how far are you away from like turning that into an AutoCAD file and saying and being able to export it? Yeah, it's definitely so. A lot of three D printing companies are creating APIs um, where you could just take that file and export it, and they'll three D print it to you. So I, I definitely feel like it's going to be a reality very soon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and every developer can set the how you use the axes differently, like in right. terms of zooming and pulling back. And yep, we you know our focus is on giving them great tools to make great applications. Um, you know, we want them focusing on the user experience and what they're good at, and we just want to make it as easy as possible.